Hi everyone, today I'd like to share with you a design team project for the piece by piece and this is also a swap for Sabrina. I'm, I'm doing a swap with Sabrina who is known as Crafty Chica 87 on YouTube. Um, we both decided to do our swap using the four, four drawer dressers from Hobby Lobby and it came with hardware but I decided not to use it. Um, the dresser I decided to use um, what is it the fairy bell papers to cover the dresser because she said that she had really liked them but I don't think she has those fairy bell papers so I use the fairy bell papers that you will see throughout the, um, the the dresser but I painted the whole dresser pink and I think for the front right here and also for the bottom which um, you can't see but um, I went over it with some crackle, I think it was like the Tim Holtz crackle uh, medium in clear rock candy and then I went over it with some Victorian velvet um, over the crackled areas and I wiped it in there and then I also rubbed in some of the Martha Stewart craft paint. It was a metallic pink color, I don't remember the the name of it but I know it's really hard to tell because it's having trouble focusing but you can kind of see the crackle and there, there is a shimmer thanks to the Martha Stewart paint but um, that's what I did with the dresser like in the front and the bottom um, up here is just a lot going on right here um, so I guess I could start with the frame this frame is from Michaels it was like a neon green frame and I had to uh, prime it with gesso and um, and then went over it with acrylic paint and then on the raised parts I went over with um, either, I think it's Robin's Egg Blue and I stuck a picture well it's like from the DCWV paper I forgot what it's called but it has a bunch of these types of ladies in there and um, I used these um, lace or wing appliques from the piece by piece store and then um, I just kind of you know put a chain around the, the frame kind of wove it in between the holes right there and just kind of make it look like seamless you know that it's just draping on the frame and um, along the bottom of the frame I have some of this pink trim right here that's also from the piece by piece as well as this brown tool it's a pleated, uh, it's like a ruffle tool trim from the piece by piece. And this one I believe is Maya Road. And um, this one I believe is one of her French laces. It's in pink. And she also has it in like a cream color I believe. Um, and I think maybe red. I'm not too sure. And then I have here a stick pin that I've made. And right here some flowers. Um, these are part of the paper. The, the uh, the fairy bell collection these flowers right here um you know so yeah all these flowers are just like you know like this one's from the swap meet and i forgot what this one was i am roses or wild orchid crafts or something like that but they're all from different um companies but right here i have a little crystal right here that i bought from walmart and um in the middle of this flower right here i love this paper and it was part of the fairy bell um, petals, I believe. It was like a box of petals. But I used this center right here that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. It was in the wedding section to make that center of the flower. And so um, if you look closely, you can see the chain kind of weaving through the flowers right here. You know, and then I put a crystal actually that Sabrina gave me right here. And then um, I have... Let's see, this is probably a Wild Orchid Crafts flower, but I lined the tips of the petals with some Studio G glitter glue. And I did it to this flower too. This one's a huge Prima flower. And I just um, 
put some of the Studio G glitter glue on the edges of that rose right there and I also sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist and Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm not sure about the color, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, moving on, I have a wheat spray coming out right here. And this right here is actually a book stack. And I got this from a thrift store. Um, and I don't know if you could tell. But it was, I don't know what it was for, maybe for a dollhouse or something. But they were books. And I covered it with the papers, design papers, but you can't really tell. <laughs> because it's all covered up with other things. But right here I added the chipboard um, stickers from the Fairy Bell collection on the spine of the books. And on top of the book I have um, the Maya Road um, organza flower that the Piece by Piece carries. And it's the one with the brown in the middle. So this is kind of like the bird's nest. And this bird I got from Michael's at their $1.50 section. And I just added some crystals here to resemble like eggs. And I have a little flower here, and I have some of this lace from the piece by piece peeking through. Kind of like cascading down, and this chain cascades down as well from the bird's nest. And then right here is from the piece by piece as well. It's actually a trim, but you could cut the um, the individual. They kind of look like flower appliques, actually. You, come, you could cut them individually and use them like that, or use them as a trim, but... Um, I just decided to put, use one right here, just kind of like running down the books, and I have like a little ribbon flower. And right here is our rolled flower that Sabrina made me in our last swap, and I just stuck it there because I really wanted to use it. And um, throughout certain surfaces, you'll see like cheesecloth right here and right here. This is a Michael's key, and then I just have some random crystals around. And this... Um, Lace right here is actually also from the piece by piece, and I believe the company's Webster's Pages. So I have it um, running down the sides as well, kind of like a runner. I like to do that for some reason. And so on the side, this side of the runner, I have it plain right here, and then I have some Prima lace going along the sides right here. Um, and on this side of the dresser, this is the side right here so you can see that this is the um, fairy bell paper and I did Mod Podge um, the surface so she could dust it or you know wipe it with a damp cloth or something but right here I have this um, this tool fringe trim from the piece by piece along the top and then I have this charm this arty cake charm hanging right here and I thought it was really really cute so the, it's Believe in Dream. So I did that. And then I have some, um, I use that art, um, that stencil by the, um, the Crafters Workshop, I believe. I love this stencil. It's the script stencil. And I use the um, molding paste on it to give it some texture. And right here, you can't really tell, but I have some pearls peeking through the paper. And um, see, I have some cheesecloth back here. And then I also have, um, I forgot to almost mention that, I have this lace, this beautiful eyelet lace right here going um, through the back right here. And that's also by, by the piece by piece. And then I have some pearl sprays. Um, and then on this side of the dresser, it's some more of that fringe trim. And I use this um, lace right here by Webster's Pages, and it, this can also be um, bought at um, in the piece by piece. And I just dangled this, um, I guess, charm. It's a crystal with this, I don't know what you call these things, but they look like disco balls. And this is made out of a head pin, so I just dangled that off of the lace. And I just, I wove um, the chain throughout the lace. And it's just dangling from under the bird's nest. Some more of that um, molding paste work right there. And then right here I have some of the fringe trim in purple. And I cut apart one of the organza flowers and put them right here where the fairy's hand would be. She's kind of grabbing at a flower, so I decided to make one right here. And then along the side, the bottoms of the, both sides of the, the dresser, I have this beautiful 
wide lace right here and I believe this one's from France um, so I just lined the bottom of the dresser on both sides so each dresser drawer has different drawer pulls and knobs um, I wanted it to be kind of like um, just different I don't know <laughs> um, but I covered each uh, front of the drawer with the pattern paper and Mod Podged over it and, and even did some more of that um, stencil work with the molding paste but um, these knobs right here I got this knob at a thrift store and I kind of um, I guess made a flower and put the knob on top of it kind of and these two um, like this lace right here I forgot I, it's like the dentail viscose lace I think um, I just kind of ruffled it and um, glued it to the knob and then I put some of this French the the fringe lace or trim behind it so that's that drawer pull right there and then this um, drawer I have some more cheesecloth and these two little knobs um, have holes going through them and um, on the dresser there's already holes that go through the the front right here because of the hardware that used to be there but I decided to um, run a chain through the holes and just kind of use some um, E6000 to glue it down and it works out really well and on the surface of these knobs I just rubbed some of the Robin's Egg blue paint on it and then um, this one right here is my favorite drawer pull and it's inspired by Miranda and her YouTube name is Ms. Liberty 25 and um, on her dresser she had a spoon drawer pull and it was so pretty she um, put like a bunch of embossing powders and um, I think maybe she even tried spraying it and it just looked really um, distressed but this spoon I decided to leave it kind of clean and embellish it I cleaned the spoon and everything and I just um, how I did this was I uh, put a big blob of hot glue um, as filler and then I glued each of these pearls and um, crystals on top of the blob of hot glue to make it look like it's like a spoonful of beads and then I added this bow right here that you can also get from the piece by piece right there and this ribbon is also from the piece by piece and I just kind of curled it throughout the spoon so that's my favorite drawer pull and I hope she likes it it's something really different so thank you so much Miranda for the idea it's a really good idea um, and right here is um, one of the little shabby chic knobs that I found at Goodwill and um, right here is a bird that you can get from the piece by piece and I believe it comes in three different colors and I just kind of wrapped it with some cheesecloth right here and made it go along up here so that's basically the whole dresser um, the back of the dresser it's really plain oh oops that was close I don't want to break it I still need to ship it today because I'm lagging but Back here is some more of the paper from the paper collection and I love this paper because it, I don't know if you could tell, it kind of looks like it's, um, it's hard to tell but it looks like it's crackled or distressed already. So I just um, put some Mod Podge over it and use the stencil again. But I also had this other stencil with the cherry blossoms and birds and I used um, some Martha Stewart metallic paint for that. So it came out pretty good up here, but up here is a different story. I kind of messed up, so, um, but it looks cool still. <laughs> um, but I think I might put like an envelope back here with a little message, so, um, that's it. So that's the back right there, and I just glued the lace along like the, on the book, on the rows right there, so. It just kind of gives it some added dimension and it just looks extra pretty, that's all. But um, this is the dresser that I've made. So um, thank you ladies for watching and I hope you enjoyed this dresser. I really like this dresser. I wish I could keep it, but um, uh, I think if I ever made anything like this again, I'd probably end up selling it. 
But anyway, Sabrina, I hope you like the dresser. I'm sure you will. I really, I'm really proud of this right here. Um, and again, thank you, Miranda, for this idea. But um, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye.